Department of Energy, Office of Nuclear Energy's primary mission is to enable nuclear power to serve the nation. And molten salt reactors were always one of the options for that. Essentially, we're in some ways responding to the fact that a number of commercial entities have recognized the potential for molten salt reactors. This is a, an example of you know, hopefully providing support so that we can allow you know, industry to be successful. The national labs are returning to you know, sort of their traditional role, which is to determine what the safety important information is and how do we measure it and let's create an open database that everyone can use, whether it's the regulator or the developers. Liquid-fueled reactors have a, a real substantial advantages, uh, potentially, over solid-fueled reactors. However, they also have some additional complexity. We're providing a lot of the technical uh, information, like what's the you know, heat capacity of this particular mixture? What's the thermal conductivity? How does the density vary with temperature? We need to know that for to both to make design decisions and to decide, well, is this going to reject decay heat? the way it needs to be to, to be adequately safe. Does it retain its radionuclides? If the salt actually is the heat transfer mechanism, we need to know, well, does it stay to be, is it a liquid? Does it turn into tar? You know, what happens when, uh, over time? Corrosion is something that we were working on for 15 or 20 years, and so we generally understand this. However, the alloys we were using back then were the alloys that were available. We'd like to see if, can we go to higher temperatures? Can we improve things? I mean, that's sort of the science mission of, of ORNL, is what's this next generation? How do we push it forward? How can we improve the manufacturing of this to lower the costs? As well as, how do we provide the evidence for the safety? The obvious thing on this is we're low pressure. The boiling points of most of these salts are 1400 C. We operate around 700 C. There's this enormous temperature margin and very strong negative reactivity feedback. The other advantage to this is that we don't really have a burn-up limit on our fuel. We don't really damage a liquid. So if you say very good safety, very good thermal efficiency, and additionally very good fuel efficiency, these are the major things that you want from a reactor. It's just you know, sort of the natural evolution of nuclear technology trying to move from where we were to how do you get better. That's what engineers do. That's what, what scientists support. I don't think that this would have happened without seeing the initiatives coming out of whether it's the, uh, the ardent supporters or some of the, the companies getting formed.